you turn on any NBA game and you'll generally notice that there's always two players standing in the corners and then the main players that are generally the best players on the team operating at the top of the key and the wing and when they operate on the wing you'll often see that one of the corner guys on that wing is not there and they run pick and roll at the top of the key and the wings and these guys are generally 6'3 and above can handle the ball elite athletes and they like everybody on the team to be able to shoot so that the big man can space the floor and create a open lane and all of these guys on all the teams that are building are 25 or younger and if they do have a close to 30 year old on that building team it's generally because they can help that team have a big impact on winning and provide leadership and just a growing presence for that team and any player that's above 30 that's not good enough to be on a championship winning team is usually not going to be on these young rebuilding teams or contending young teams and so that just shows you that the way the NBA game works is they build around guys that are super talented super athletic super young proven in either NCAA Division One basketball or professional basketball before you know they play in the NBA and if you don't meet that criteria of where you have that type of resume and they have proven footage of you even if you're young they don't really want you because you're not proven so why would they risk their you know business to somebody that hasn't proven it when there's so many players that play in the NCAA tournament and play overseas and have a chance to you know show everything they can do so imagine somebody that's way older that's smaller that doesn't have a resume and you'd say just from you know the politics of how the NBA game works he'd have absolutely no chance so why is it that this Asian guy here that's 5'8 still thinks that he can play in the NBA let's take a look so I'm a guy that's 5'8 and since 2018 I've been claiming that I can become good enough to play in the NBA yet when you look at the footage from December 2023 you don't see elite athleticism. You don't see even good Division three level basketball skills, meaning I wouldn't be good enough to skill-wise be consistent enough or have a mid-range. So skill-wise, not even close. And if you just look at just is he good enough, it's not even close. So why is it that, you know, I would be making this claim since 2018 and why is it that I recently just said within six months, August um, 26, 2024, I can become good enough. It's either I'm um, completely delusional or there must be something that I know that nobody else knows. My name is Key and I made a discovery on how to develop elite athleticism. In 2018, my vertical was 25, and in 2023, my vertical went all the way up to 32, despite gaining 15 pounds. So, just for the physical development of power and speed, I took five years off completely from 2018 to 2022, where I did not play basketball at all. See, I always knew that basketball is simple. Do you have enough athleticism to be able to stay in front of your man while being close enough to contest your shot? And do you have enough athleticism to blow by your man at any time? Because if you can do those things, then on offense, you can always generate an open shot for yourself or for others. And 
that's why I waited for the physical body to be able to do that. But once I started playing again in 2023, I knew that I had to rewire the connection. You might be asking yourself, what connection is this guy talking about? Well, let me just put it as simple as possible. I grew up as a poor athlete almost my entire life, connecting to poor athlete areas of the body for basketball movements. Because that became second nature, once I develop great athleticism just physically, I have to rewire where I'm connecting to in the body so that the actual power and speed that I have within me can actually come out to its full extent. See, on this shot right here, this is the shot that I've been doing my whole life, going to the old body parts. But then when you look at the footage here, which was just maybe one or two months ago, you'll be able to see that on this shot, there's a difference where I'm elevating and my feet are sweeping upward. And that is exactly what I've been working on in 2023, where I can fade away, have a higher arch, have the feet sweeping upward because that connection right there is going to the superior and more powerful body parts but it's not even close to being able to be done at its optimal speed because it's a new movement and it, the power is making me struggle as far as my nervous system goes so i'm just jumping like 10 inches when I do these type of new shots. So the potential is way, way higher than what it's showing right here. And so from 2018 to 2022, like I said, I made a discovery on how to develop elite athleticism. And that whole time I was waiting for the physical body to change enough to warrant me being able to practice and change everything of the mechanics of my basketball skills like shooting and dribbling and running and so starting in 2023 which was last year that's when I started playing for the first time and training like a lot so you have to look at the fact that I did take the five years off and that when I am training since last year I'm changing my all my movements so that I get this athleticism I've been developing all out and it's been a struggle but ultimately I know something that nobody knows and in the end there's no doubt in my mind that I'm going to become an elite athlete I'm going to have elite basketball skills and elite basketball IQ but just as we just talked about even if I'm a world-class player and one of the best players in the world that's still not enough because of the lack of resume, the age, and um, the fact that I'm, you know, really small. So why is it that I'm still saying, like, I can do this when I'm looking like a lesser skilled Division three player, you know, with a quick first step? It's because... I know that I'm going to reach those, you know, world-class abilities in these six months. And then on top of that, I know that I bring something else to the table that no one in history has done. Nobody in history has ever reached elite athleticism when they weren't born with it. So just by that alone, I'm already bringing a different dynamic to the table. So let's suppose that I become a world-class player and then my storytelling becomes really elite so that I become known in this world and I become somebody that did the impossible, that billions of people that weren't born with elite athleticism were not able to overcome, right? So then if I do all those things already, when people in the world look at me, they're going to be like, he's doing something that's never been done before, so he's already different. So what's the X factor that allows me to overcome what the business model says is impossible? It's the fact that I'm Asian. So the fact that I'm Asian means that if I can actually accomplish all these things of becoming a world-class player and having world-class storytelling, being known in the world, and um, all those things, 
then suddenly it's like, okay, maybe this guy is older and smaller, but if he really can help contribute on a championship winning team, then he can bring the Asian market, which generates crazy money for any NBA team. So you have to look at the fact that if I actually get this done, I'm an inspiration to like anybody. That's a fact. I did the impossible. So already my gravity and my presence and how people perceive me and all that is like on a different scale. And it's something unique that I bring to the table that nobody's ever brought. So listen, just watch what happens in these next six months. And we won't even talk about the NBA at all until at least the abilities are there. So I admit it, what my abilities are right now, but there must be something that I know to make this drastic jump that, you know, hasn't, hasn't been done before. So give me time to, you know, get there step by step, and then let me test myself against top level competition that I can find, and then we'll talk again, okay? But just give me that chance to at least reach those abilities, and then we'll see what happens, okay?